for clarity, what has sat down to you? Um, this this whole thing started from Twitter last night when I I just told fans to ask me any question they would want me to answer. So one of them came with a question about whether or not I would I would work with SAC again and when was the last time we worked. So I said point blank that I don't think I would need a verse from SAC, but if he ever does need one, I'm not going to do it because I have my reasons why I said that. You know, so I was telling him because I know the person that's asking me is obviously a SAC fan and a Samini fan and would want to see that collaboration happen. I have a few instances where SAC has disrespected me, but I didn't bring it out in public. But from how SAC Nation has risen on the Twitter thing and are disrespecting me even further for me coming out to spill the fact that um, something was done to me some years back that I didn't feel good about, but then I just felt like at 41, I don't have to hold anything back and I don't have to have let anybody feel special in their corner when I know that I felt shortchanged. First of all, when Sark sent me the track for Love Rocks, I did it under 24 hours and sent him the song. Then somewhere along the line, I was in London, he sent me a certain track. I was down in Cuffley in the studio. I did it under 24 hours and sent him the verse. Ask him, anytime he sends me a, a WhatsApp message, it takes me... What, less than five minutes? I'm good on communication. I don't know about him. It takes me less than five minutes. I'll respond to you. I'll tell you the truth, what I'm about, what I can do, or what I can't. If you message Zach, he would not respond. And I heard uh, Kwaukesi also complain about that. So I thought, okay, maybe that's the way he is. No problem. I don't really, he's not my friend like that. And he will attest to that. Like, we don't talk. We don't call each other. There's no reason why we should have a beef. Nothing. But my thing here was that when I did everything that he ever asked me to do in time and on time, I expected that he would know that my principles towards work is such that if you can do it, let me know you can. If you can't, cool. I sent him, um, um, he expressed interest with the, uh, my own remix. So, yeah, I sent him the original beat, the reggae beat. He did it first. They sent the um, files. And then I put the files on a remix beat. Obviously, he wanted to be on the original beat, but I thought that would distort the, 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 the history of the track because I have the original track, which is me by myself, and that's how it was a hit. So if it's a remix, if, if a, re a remix is an interest, let's put it out, but let's put it out as a remix. I don't think it went to do, it went down too well with him because he would have loved to be on the bang, 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 I know. But the DJ Frass, the DJ Frass production. Exa exactly. But I wanted him on the um, um, Loud City production, which was a remix. So that was out the way. Then fast forward down the line, because I know I've done more than just one feature for him and he just put one out. I know that I can always feel free and ask for any track I want him on if I feel, if I feel like he would work with it. So I told him I'm working on something. I need him on it. And he said, okay, send me a few. Let me see what I feel about them. I send you three tracks. You choose one. And then you ask me, um, is it an album or is it a single? What are you doing? I'm like, yeah, I'm working on an EP, and this is the very last track. We were talking in, I think, May, you know, in April or something, and I, I wanted to release the uh, thing in July. I told him this is the very last track. He's like, cool. And then fast forward down the line, Sack never responded. He never said anything about the song. He never did the song. Anytime I would ask WhatsApp, it's a blue tick. He can go on his WhatsApp, um, his, his um What's up right now? And check my last messages to him. Even my invitation to the listening of my my uh, my EP. He read it and it was blue tick. So me, I know they take that too personal, but I know it. That's how he rolls. But when the fans came at me, like, okay, why am I feeling too entitled by saying hey, I asked him for a, for, a, for a verse and he didn't do it? Here's the background to what I mean by I would not <laughs> expect to do anything with him because if I ask him for a track or if I have an arrangement for him to send me a track, he would delay me. But I don't delay people. Luckily for me, I don't need anybody's verse or anybody's chorus to make a hit song. You can play my catalog. The only song I have on my catalog that's a hit song featuring someone else is Whiskey's Time Bomb. Yes, reverse the roles. You can tell me how many sax songs that has people on there. That's what I told his people on the, on the, on the, on the, on the Twitter platform. Because they were getting me furious by making me feel like me from 2001 is kissing sax uh, uh, um, backside track from 2009 for a verse when fans are those that ask for these things otherwise I per se if you check my catalog I would not need an additional voice on my song necessarily to make any waves when I put him on um, um, my own remix where did it go it could not surpass my own itself 
that is the strength I have over my creativity. You know, I don't have anything against Sack, which is what I said in the tweet. Okay. But I was offended the way he treated me, and that is where I pegged him from that time till today. I don't message Sack for anything. He doesn't message me for anything. Okay, so going forward, I would not, uh, I would not seek a verse from him, knowing how he can delay and distort my plans. Okay, so Sack, all right, um, so. With all this, so the, your your fury is not about Sack, but rather the fans. Is that what? Yes, if, if, it's not about Sack. It was about the fans because I explained to one fan who asked me a question: Would you ever do a song with Sack? And I don't feel like it's it's time to close. Um, I mean, throw throw dust into people's eyes or cover people's um deeds to make them seem like everything is calm when it's really not. There's other people in the industry who have done serious things to me that I've just I've been quiet about. You see this up here, 2 and 5 5 issue. I have a classical issue that I don't want to, want to even talk about right now. But one day, one day, it will come out. And we'll have to mention names and show who has been on road with someone's album forever and didn't pay a dime for it. And went and put it online and said it was theirs 100% when they know who the executive producer is. Have I come out to talk about this before? No. Yes, so I'm not like emotional, just ranting about things that hurt me. But if I'm asked a question, and I feel like this is the time to educate people and let people know how people are actually treating people on the ground as compared to how people make it seem when they come and they sugarcoat things. So, you know, force for me. It did a very they listen. You know, force for me. You be my small boy, you know that. We did on the you Sack, Sack was the first guy that rapped and said he wants to blow and become like Samini in one of his very first raps. Later on, when he went out and said, Kobisa Yogi Dogi dear Sonny Bali dear wine wine you Kobisa Sonny Bali dear Yogi dear Samini. I mean, besides, he said, then you be a I said, about Radio Star, they asked him, he said he's not really a Samini fan, so he doesn't really listen to the songs like that, so he doesn't know the song they're talking about. Same guy that said in his earlier freestyles that he wants to be like Samini. Guess what? Here is the Samini in 2023 still, my guy. Don't play. This is Pits.